On behalf of Mormon Sunday School, this is Jim Webster. I'm doing a tutorial on how to use the iOS 9 podcast app for those of you who use the iPhone. For many of you who have used the prior versions of this application, you'll notice there are significant changes. Now, if you know where the app is, obviously it's easy enough just to click on it. Now, for if you don't know where it is, you can either pull down on the menu and it'll give you a search bar and you just type in podcast like you can see there, or going back to prior versions of iOS, if you just keep sliding to the right, there's now a search menu on the far left hand side, and you can just once again type in podcast here, and you can see there's podcasts as the top hit. That's the application that we're going to be learning about. Now within the podcast here, you can see Engaging Gospel Doctrine across the top, but I want to show you how to get this into your podcasts. Across the bottom, you can see the highlighted My Podcast. It would seem normal to click the plus sign in the top left hand corner, but when you do so and you hit add podcast, what it does is it asks you for a URL. This is not the easy way to subscribe. You have to know the URL. There's a lot of steps involved. The fastest way to do it is to click the search button in the bottom right hand corner and it'll turn purple. Once you're there, there's just the search bar. You can type in engaging gospel doctrine and you'll see it pulls up just like that. And you can click on podcast and then you'll see it. Now I'm currently subscribed, so it says unsubscribe, but in the top right hand corner, if you just click subscribe, unsubscribe, then you can see that's how now it's going to automatically download the podcast to my phone. So now it says unsubscribe, I'll continue to receive the podcast. So now when I click on my podcast, now this is where really things have changed, because when you click on the icon, when we click on anything here, it's going to just start playing. So in this case, I click episode 162. You can see the speaker is showing that it's playing. If you look down at the bottom, you'll see there's a pause sign, which means that the podcast is currently playing. And there's a purple line that goes across the bottom, so you can see exactly how far you are. Now, this is not as much information as we're used to, but this is just a new iteration of how they want to do it. So, if you click on the actual uh, podcast itself, you can see it just gives you raw uh, text and it does not give you any of the hyperlinks that you otherwise would normally expect. Now of course if you use this for studying or for the different things that we use it for this can become an issue. So there's a couple of ways you can resolve it. Across the top where it says 162 Paul to the Romans you can then see that there are three dots. If you click on the three dots it will give you options. If you click view full description it will then pull up and show you all the hyperlinks as they used to in the old app. And it used to not take this many steps, but we don't have much of a choice in it. Now I want to show you how some of these links work because it's kind of interesting. The top link is actually a link to LDS.org if you do it through your computer, but I'm going to click on it in my phone. What it does is it opens the LDS app and pulls it up within the app itself now you can see it. Now what's really unique about this is if you look in the top right hand corner it says LDS.org and has a forward arrow. What they're doing is they're making apps operate as if it's a internet browser. So if I push to the right it'll take me to LDS.org and obviously if I push to the one on the left I go back to the podcast. It's a really neat feature and it makes it quite convenient going back and forth between apps because like I said it makes it feel like an internet browser. Now the next thing that we're doing, and this is kind of unique to podcasting, I have looked and looked and looked, and I have not seen very many people have done this, but I did find somebody who beat us to it, but it was only by about two or three months. But either way, if you want to, you can be listening to the podcast, and if there's something said that you want to tweet about, about being challenged or just something about the episode in particular, you can just click right there, one click, it takes you straight to Twitter, you're then able to send a message to Jared saying whatever you want to say, like, I love this episode. And then hit tweet, and you can see I'm already logged in. That goes out, and now it's done. And now you can see across the top it says back to podcast. So we just click that again, and we're right back to where we started. So that's how the click to tweet works. It's very simple. And it, and it works. There's no third parties involved, so there's nobody who's going to have access to your stuff. It's just uh, some JavaScript that we put in there, and it works pretty well. You can also post straight to the open Facebook page. 
Um, open Facebook page is not used a lot within the community, at least it hasn't been as of late. We've been trying to use it more by producing different things that show up here so that people can get benefit from that who are not part of the closed Facebook group. But once again, hit back to Facebook, I mean back to podcasts, and here we are again. So you can see there's the different links. There's the links to get Adam Miller's new book, the donation links, the Amazon link. But once we're done within here, or if you want to look at the, the annotated reading or the lesson notes that are in there as well, then we hit done. And now we're back. And now, once again, there's no hyperlinks. This can be confusing. Now, the other way of doing it is across the bottom where you can see the, the episode scrolling. You can just drag up on that, and then it looks like this. Now, if you want to see the hyperlinks, just tap where it says Mormon Sundays. Go with your finger, and it will change. But now it's a little bit harder to read because it's in the black, and there's purple hyperlinks, which I guess maybe for night reading, maybe that's easier. But either way, if you prefer to see it in the white background, hit the three dots at the bottom once again, full description. Up it comes again, and then there you have access to it. So that gives you an idea of how it works. Now, I have an iPhone 6 Plus, and on my phone, you cannot see the fast forward and rewind buttons. They are there, you just can't see them. So you can see right now I'm at 1330. If I just press where fast forward should be, you can see it goes forward 15 seconds. Or if I want to rewind, same thing, press where the rewind button should be, and you can see it's now rewinding in 15 second increments. Now, if that's confusing, which it is, you can just slide up from the bottom, pull that up, and there's the 15 second fast forward and rewind and it works just as well from there. Now, that pretty much covers the different issues that we're dealing with in regards to the app. There's one other thing I did want to mention. A lot of people listen to podcasts to go to sleep and you can no longer see the timer. At least on my phone you can't. And the other iPhone 6s, I haven't seen the timer. But what you do is you just press in the middle underneath the pause and the volume button and magically it just pops up. I just found it by pressing around to see what's there after I found out where my fast forward went. So those are the basic things that are missing. I think they'll all be fixed with the next update, but for now, that's what we're dealing with. So to wrap it up, we saw how to access the links, how to fast forward, how to put the timer on, and how to make use of this iOS 9 podcast app. Now, if by any chance you just don't like that and you want something different, Overcast is a fairly good option. It's free to download. Uh, when you click on it, you just click the little information button on the right hand corner. You can see it does the same thing, gives you the same type of uh, information. It's a little bit easier to get to. But if you want all the features that you would expect if from a podcast app, you have to pay $5. There are other apps that cost 2 to $3. I did not download them to see how well they worked. I'm happy enough with the iOS app, even though it's confusing and hard to use at this point anyway. But if you have any questions, just send a message to mormonsundayschool at gmail.com or just go to the Facebook page and ask any questions that, that are associated with this post. Thank you so much.